Hey, man. Hey, man. Right, good people. That was a 234 of the JB and Benny Blue Review. Yeah. Fresh off of his trip from San Diego, a.k.a. A whale's fuck? vagina. A whale's That's vagina. Right you know what I'm saying? Jeremy, yes. Eugene, fresh as a It's the most beautiful city in yes, America, you know what I'm saying? That is a fact. <laughs> San Diego means a whale's vagina, you know what I'm saying? It does. It's big. It's oh, what up? It's deep. Sean Sprog, how you doing? He's with us last week as well, our guy Sean. Front Always of the show. a pleasure, you know what I'm saying, my guy. We're going to play some golf, man. The weather's getting nice. We're going to get out and play some <laughs> golf, man. All right, yeah, man. You know how it goes, man. Desert. I'm back in the desert, man. You know, so I've been back for quite a while. Uh, I got back on uh, actually Friday afternoon last week. Uh, just been kind of moving and shaking, handling some business. I've been off work for the last few days. I'm going back tomorrow. I'm kind of excited about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, get back into some uniform routine type, whatever, whatever. Like, you know, it just gets weird, you know what I'm saying, when you ain't doing your thing. Uh, I got you, brother. I got you. You know what I'm saying? We're doing, we going to do our thing, bro. Uh, if you ain't following us, man, follow us on, you know what I'm saying, at, um, at JB and Benny Blue, you know what I'm saying, for all social media, social media platforms and TikTok. Uh, I have to put and TikTok, you know what I'm saying, because I don't fuck with TikTok like that. But we got one, <laughs> right? And we be putting content on there, you know what I'm saying, so we do our thing, you know what I'm saying. Follow us on our individual IGs. Uh, at 73 King JB73. All right, what's Work, good what with up, it? What up, what up? And of course, at Benny Blue Eyes, you know what I'm saying? My dog, it's always been at Benny Blue Eyes, you know what I'm saying? Get with him now, you know what I'm saying? Get with us, we get with you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Hey, you know what? I live in the desert, you know what I'm saying? We live stream right here from Phoenix at casualsports.com, man. Shout out to Earl, Ed, Javon, the whole crew, and of course, Money Making Mitch, you know what I'm saying, who joined our show, you know what I'm saying, as a specialist, if you will, you know what I'm saying, doing yes, a lot of great things for us, you know what I'm saying, but check us out, casualsports.com, right here in the desert. You still want to hear this melodious voice, you know what I'm saying, you still want to hear Benny's factual, actual, you know what I'm saying, $1, we'll get that for you. All right, patreon.com slash JV and Benny Blue, you've been subscribing to OnlyFans long enough and getting number <laughs> the picks feet picks. Come on, uh, now. You can get number of pieces and pieces in their draws, you know what I'm saying? Like you can you get that on their Instagram ass. and their Twitter page, you know what I'm saying? They got you. They scammed you. But it's okay. We ain't gonna scam you. We're gonna give you this hot content, you know what I'm saying, for that one hot dollar, you know what I'm saying, on patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. Cardinal fans, all right, get 10% off your bird gang all day unisex shirts. Uh of course, you know what I'm saying? Use the code BG at checkout, you know what I'm saying? JB and Billy Review.com slash store. Again, bird gang all day unisex shirts, hoodies. All that, you know what I'm saying, 10% yes. off. BG at checkout. We got you, you know what I'm saying? We know we got you, okay? Yep. Uh, the Burning Business Podcast, you know what I'm saying, was last night. I got to apologize for it. Uh, we do uh, live stream Tuesday nights. Uh, my producer, Johnny, you has a bouncing baby boy, you know what I'm saying, as well as beautiful hey. baby girl. But the bouncing baby boy is young, and he went to acting the fool last night. So <laughs> Pops had to kick in the <laughs> yeah. high gear. He had to kick in the high gear and handle family business, you know what I'm saying? So he went to do his thing. All right, uh, but we do live stream every Tuesday night, you know, send a burning business podcast, uh, courtesy of course, the AAT Sports underscore, which on Twitter, uh, and on Instagram, uh, it's going to be the same thing, and of course, the AAT, uh, the all about the birds, this uh, other the AAT, but on YouTube, it's going to be the AAT Sports Media Network. Oh, you're right? bringing it to YouTube, I Media see you. Network, because okay. this is where you can see most of our shows that you know, send, of course, the live streams, right? So, again, the AAT Sports Media Network. On YouTube, subscribe to that man. Tell your friends about us, as we like to say with our own podcast here, man. You know what I'm saying? So of course, check us out Tuesday nights. All right. Yes. What else we got here? What else we got here? You want to buy a car? Let's pay. Let's pay some oh, bills first. Oh, oh, okay. You gotta be looking okay. good in the car. I'll shut tell you what. So you want to look good in the car? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shout out to our guys Zach and Cody, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. It's, it's getting to be that time of year. What's popping with the new package, kids? You know what I'm saying? We right. got to get right. I see y'all making hoodies, moves. Man. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all making moves. It's hoodie season. We definitely need some hoodies. Valley Boys Association Clothing. Go to valleyboysassociationclothing.com. Use code PODCAST22 for 20% off your order at checkout. Again, all right, we're going to go to valleyboysassociation.com. Uh, use PODCAST22 for 20% off your entire order at checkout. These cats got some dope shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't wearing it right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm using them. I am. It's just um, comfortable as hell, man. But, you know, hey, Loving my it. man Loving got it. it on right now, you know what I'm saying? Always VBA. rocking. That's how we do. Uh, you want to buy a new whip? While you win, you got it, boy, shit. You want to look good in your new whip? All right? It's Tim to buy.com. You know what I'm saying? Looking for pre-owned vehicles, new vehicles, don't matter. Text review to 515-444-7003 at It's Tim to buy on Instagram, man. Check this cat out, man. You be holding up the belt. Before you know it, that means you got a new baby. whip, man. That means you yeah, got a new whip, baby. That's what it means, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, Benny, get it to them. 
Yeah, man. Listen, coming up, we got a lot to talk about. Week six recap. What we've learned so far, uh, JB, in the 2022 uh, season. Not as his power. Week seven picks. I should say week seven picks and new music reaction. Shout out to our guy Perks Tap, and we're gonna we're gonna be playing his song here at the end of the show. Yes, um, listen, sponsorship, interviews, new music, or hate mail. You know what to do. JB and Benny Blue Review at gmail.com. And like our guys who've been following in, if you have a comment or a question at any point during the show, I don't give a damn what platform you're watching on. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram. Please drop it in. We will get to it over the course of the show. I promise you. Uh, well, listen, man. It's been uh, been quite the week. Been quite the week in some foosball. Are you going to see our guy Mitch dumping in here? Every so often on this episode, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but right now we got we got to get we got to get to some shit. The goddamn BG main. What the hell going on with the BG main with some we sick tree cap out there flopping in Seattle, nineteen to nine. Cliff is okay. out there saying he's coaching for his job. He's considering play calling changes. Doctor Bridges, you are the future GM of the Arizona Cardinals, whether you like it or not. Is the seat officially hot? See, been hot. See, been hot. I told you guys probably about three or four weeks ago there was a conversation that was had between Kime, uh, or Mikey B, you know what I'm saying, and uh, and and Cliff that, you know what I'm saying, if you don't, you know, if you don't shit, you gotta get out the pot, right? And I think they just advised him to say, you know what, pass that fucking clipboard and become a coach, right? Start delegating, you know, start making, having more time to think about decisions that need to be made here coach wise, right? Thinking about making a play call and change, you should have did this shit. Goddamn last year in the middle of the season, right? <laughs> I've been saying past that clipboard for damn uh, near long as you've been coaching the Cardinals. Look, man, it's nothing wrong with, with taking a step back and saying, I might not be as good as some as I thought I was, right? Reevaluate that shit, right? You got great offensive minds around you, great young offensive minds you can collaborate with, bounce ideas, but see, the great offensive minds got to be able to say, hey, man, this shit whack. We, we shouldn't be doing these fucking – Bullshit ass throws behind the line scrimmage and run there. This motherfucker right. should be running 45 yards down the field, dragging a safety and a cornerback with him so we can hit this cat in the middle, right? You know what I'm saying? This cat over. You know what I mean? Like, we got so many weapons, it's so easy to just pick defenses apart, right? But when you ain't going north and south, you're not being aggressive, you don't have that aggressive mindset, you know, we're just wasting our talent, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you better consider play calling challenges, uh, changes, or your ass gonna be out the door. All right, we won't give a damn if he just extended you or not, right? Money, look, and one thing about the NFL, yeah, the cap matters, but there's always going to be money to be made. And if he's hurting the team, which he is doing right now, right, then there's changes that have to be made. And he ain't willing to make those changes, and there's one change that we can make. Out the dope, right? Jazz on Fresh Prince style, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! Throwing out. <laughs> Throw out of the door, God damn it! Yeah, man, it's just, I, I don't, you know, you watch the tape and watching, you know, watching some of Kyler's decisions, and the odd thing is, like they 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 have some playmakers on defense that are really showing some true motor, and you know, even even if they're not necessarily making making the play, they're they're in or around the play. Mm-hmm. So, um, like with Zayvon Collins and uh, the young boy uh, Majai Sanders, the rookie, right, right. Um, actually showed some good stuff as well. Um, I know they're having the issues with Prater injured. I know they signed the old old, old spectacles, uh, Rodrigo yeah, Blank yeah. and shit. They got him. I mean, look, hey, good. I feel well. way more. I feel way more safe at kicker with him being there. Right? You know, what I'm saying Hop's he can make some kicks. Hop, 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 Hop ain't he's back. Ain't no, he's coming back. He's back. All right. Robbie Anderson coming to the team is phenomenal. I'm sorry. All right. That's a great pickup. All right. Um, but so we got another weapon. Of course, you know, San Hollywood went down for a little bit. Uh, they hope it's not career ending. I'm not career, but season ending. Uh, but it's serious. You know what I'm saying? At least serious enough for him to miss six to eight weeks of football. So, I mean, hopefully you can return for the playoffs. But we got weapons. Right. We know we got weapons. We've always known we've had weapons. Let's start to get the ball to these weapons. Right. Excuse me, Robbie Anderson being there just literally opened up the playbook some more, right? So come on, man. Like we gotta be aggressive, aggressive mindset. And Cliff, for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if his mind goes back to Scottsdale on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you gotta stay focused yeah. on football, man. You can't be thinking about what you're doing after the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, you gotta stay focused on football. I mean, you know, look, looking at looking at their schedule, you know, they got they got the Saints uh this week and then if I'm not mistaken, is there bye week? Mm. The bye week is, is next week, correct or no? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, Take check that out. Nah. I ain't even looked, man, to be honest, man. Yeah. I've been kinda 
I've been kind of kicking back on my Cardinals lately. Just, just you know, I've been really, way too engaged. And I, I guess, I guess the point, I guess the point that needs to be made is, um, if they get the hop, if they have the hop and they have Robbie Anderson, what, what is the point in your mind of no return? Where it's like, yo, Cliff, you, 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 that house in Scottsdale, stay there. Like, what, what, Bro, what, what's the deal there? If, if we can't put points on the board, Robbie Anderson, hop. You know what I'm saying? Ertz, right? Uh, Rondell, uh, when, when you know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, Edo Benjamin, I'm glad they got a chance to see him run the ball because this kid, is he's nasty, right? And he's going to be a valuable weapon for us. Hand the ball out to him. Every time he touches the ball, he gets stronger. Connor coming back off injury. If we can't get the ball in the end zone, man. And the questionable play calling comes in the red zone and on third downs. Those are drive killers all day. You leaving points on the field and you 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 and and you're not converting first down so now you kicking and punting like come on man no 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 qb change Kyler is worthy he's worthy he can play ball he's been a winner on every level of football he's been on put him in a position to be successful he's an aggressive football player he's not one of these cats that goes east and west he wants to go downhill let him go downhill we we good with Kyler. Right, you got to you got to maximize the talent. And thank you, Mitch. So they they're they, uh, they're hosting the Saints, and then and then uh, they got Vikings in Week Eight. So it's an interesting stretch. They got the Rams coming up. They got the, they have the Seahawks again. And listen, people, if you want a, an objective view of the state of the bird gang that Mitch and I did, Mitch, thank you. The bye week is Week Thirteen for the BG, so that will mm-hmm. be a very telling week yeah. at that point, depending on right. how this goes. Uh, run back our last episode on our YouTube channel, episode two thirty three, for a. Non-objective look at the state right. of the Burgang. These the cats, yeah. So, so these two cats, you know, what I'm saying I have no emotional ties, like I do, right? <laughs> Damn it! By the way, let the record show that uh, is this the is this the the nineteenth? So it must have been two days ago, yeah. October seventeenth. What is your personal record for breaking out drunk Barney? We can talk. We got to talk about that. Well, so, how, when's the earliest drunk Barney showed up in the history I, of the show? So you got to think about it like this though. This is episode, what, 244? 234. Three? 234, right? So, drunk Barney, I, I like I, I got drunk Barney from you and Kev, right? Did so that come out in the Josh Rosen season? Did that come out early in the Rosen season? Yes, it did. But, but Earlier it, than this? It didn't, no, it didn't come out this early, right? It probably came out game game eight or nine, maybe ten. Barney got the shakes. But, yeah, Barney, look, drunk Barney, but that's how I was feeling, man. Look, I, Benny, when I tell you I didn't even watch the game, bro, I probably watched three snaps of the game, dog. Oh, no. I was out chilling with the, with the young homies, you know what I'm saying? We went to a little spot and had a couple beers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Four Peaks Pub, you know what I'm saying, Tempe. And then we went to fucking Top Golf and we just swinging the club and shooting shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't watched one fucking, Hark- damn it, Hark- one Hark- fucking play. I just couldn't <laughs> do it, man. Then when I found out the score... Because one of my boys, you know what I'm saying, from the gym, old Zane, he's a fucking Seattle fan. Uh, he starts sending me fucking memes and suck it, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, like, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Here you go. Dude, this is what you do. It's not permanent, but notice the caption. This is what you do to me. All right? This is what you guys do to me, you motherfucking. Well, check him out. You know me, B.I.G. for the damn drunk Barney, goddammit. All right, we're going to get to the more of the more of the break in later, but that, that's a nice little assessment of where they're at currently. Uh, JB, the Jets fly into Green Bay, and they beat the Packers 27-10. to 10. They move to 3-0 on the road. JB, are the Jets officially the official Ashy to Classy team of 2022, baby? No, because the Packers Ooh. fucking suck right now, right? If but the go, Jets I, were, have been trashed for so but I, long. But I watched that game, right? You know what I'm saying? And so there's so many holes in the Jets and what they're doing. And now defense is fucking ass tight. Don't get me wrong, right? Uh, the, the defensive backfield doing well. Their front seven nasty shit. But that goddamn quarterback they got is still horrible, right? That kid is trash. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they got a couple of weapons that can do some things for them. But that defense being opportunistic is what's really keeping them in games. And the Packers just play like shit, man. Right? I mean, it was really bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it was ugly. So, yeah, they're doing good things right now. But, see, there's going to come a turning point in this season. Right? The Giants 5-1. and one, The Jets 4-2. and two, Right? Uh, who else balling right now? You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, so, the Eagles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, Eagles, the Eagles right now undefeated. Right? You know what I'm saying? They, they're right. They're earning that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I give them that. Um, like, there's going to come a turning point in this season where there's going to be some adversity with a lot of these teams. The Jets being one of them, right? 
They're going to lose a couple key players. It's going to happen. I'm not wishing on anybody. It's going to happen, right? And then they're going to go right back to shit. They're going to they're gonna need a little bit of lotion is what you're saying. Right, yeah. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna level back off. Yeah, they're going to level back off to reality, and then we'll see how they go uh, after some adversity, you know what I'm saying, when it gets down to, you know what I'm saying, December, like, you know what I'm saying, late November and December, you know what I'm saying, when it's nut cutting time. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm not going to crown the ass yet. Word to Denny Gray. The late Gray. Hey. Uh, that's a helpful quote. They listen, you know, they're four and two right now, three and on the road, and it, it you know, the, it may very well stay that way, Doctor Bridges, because they're going into into Russell Wilson's Let's Ride Broncos this week, and they might they might slide up in my own get get them to over the W. You know See, what I'm this, saying? This 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 is where they're gonna get their ass with. This is where they're gonna get exposed, right? Oh, you think this this might be the game? This, this gonna be the game where they get exposed right here. All they gotta do. It. And, and, and I said, you know, what I'm saying one of the snippets we talked about Russell Wilson the Broncos and what they need to do for him. All they got to do is go back and look at a little bit of tape to see exactly what made him successful and start yes. to implement things like that. He will show up and he will show out, right? Right now, doing dropbacks and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, the offense for him, it ain't catered to him. It ain't for him. And he's not that guy that's just going to open his mouth and be like, look, man, let me do this and we'll be better, right? He's right. just going to kind of roll with it and try to, you know what I'm saying, be team guy and so on and so forth. But too many weapons, bro. Too many weapons. This is going to be the game right here. We'll talk about a little later in our picks. Well, by the way, reviews, if you saw our promo video for tonight's episode, uh, I put up the clip of Russell staring at a check down 10 yards ahead of him, wide open, and he takes the sack. So, Russ, stop overthinking it, baby. Make the confidence. play. You know? Yeah, his confidence is down, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's, he's like, a, you know, he's a, he's a fish out of water, right? No. Talking about confidence is not down, Dr. Breeze. Your E A G L E S Eagles beat the. Ding up with them cowgirls. I mean, them cowboys make a little bit of comeback with Cooper Rush, but it's not enough. Sunday night football, 26 to 17. And they stay undefeated at 6 and 0 oh. with 12 games to go on their schedule, JB. Where we got to be hey, honest, where listen, are the losses? Listen, where are the losses coming? Atti- attitude reflects leadership. So, you know what I'm saying? So, their coach, man, this cat is fiery. He ain't taking no shorts, he ain't taking no prisoners. He, he wants them to be in attack mode at all times, and this is the way they play football. They're talented enough, and we see that. There ain't no flaws in Philly right now. There's no flaws, right? And, and to everybody that thought Jalen Hurts wasn't that guy, shame on you, right? Shame on you. This kid's a winner. He's disciplined. Put him in the offense where he can flourish, which they're doing, right? And the kid's going to do his thing, right? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, like, <laughs> I don't see no flaws in Philly right now, man. So, we look, we're going to look at a real high record for them. Uh, the question is, when is the reality? You know, when when are they gonna get a, a slap of that, a nice big piece of that Claude and Ray humble pie? You know what I'm saying? That that humble only pie. You know what I'm saying? That that that's gonna hit them because it's gonna hit them at some point, right? It's gonna hit them at some point. They're gonna come. It's, again, there's gonna be some sort of adversity they have to face. How are they gonna overcome that? Right, exactly, and, and the, that may come like you kind of alluded to. That may come in the form of you know when you see with other teams in the form of injuries. They got a bye week this week. Then they're hosting the Steelers at the Texans, uh, hosting the Commanders at the Colts. I mean, goddamn, uh, hosting the Packers, I mean, Titans I mean, I mean, at Giants. I mean, goddamn, they they might fuck around and go seventeen zero. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying perfect season could yeah. be right, could be. We'll see. Mitch's Titans, December fourth. They're hosting the Titans. I, honestly, man. I'm going to be real. It's a weird thing. I did not think I was going to say this coming into the season, JB. I'm excited to see them play the Giants. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, the at, NFC East is cracking. Life, the NFC East is cracking right 11. now. You know what I'm saying? The NFC East is cracking right now. So I thought the, the Cowboys game was going to be a better game than it was. And the Cowboys made some mistakes. You know what I'm saying? They can't, you know, the Eagles capitalized. But, yeah, the Giants, again, another fiery coach, you know what I'm saying, who's letting his boys attack downhill. He don't have the talent that Philly got, to be honest, right? Especially a receiver. Right, they got a quarterback that can play as long as you put him in a position to be successful. Right, the kid Daniel Jones, he's not a, he's not a bum. Right, he can play ball. Right, but you got to put him in a position to be successful. He's not this cat that can just drop back thirty times a game and, and, and throw the ball down the field. He's not that guy. He's got to move around a little hero. bit. Right, yeah, he's got to move around a little bit. Make the hero of your story. Yeah, yeah, and then plus that offensive line ain't thick like that. Right, so. You got to motherfucking make sure, Papa. Oh. You got to make sure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. that, <laughs> you got to uh. make sure that the offensive line is moving a little bit, helping them, keeping them D line from pinning their ears back, you know what I'm saying? Just going full speed ahead, you know? Things you say about a woman and the offensive line. <laughs> I can't think of like I thought you was. Survey says 100 points. All right, there it is. And finally, with some recap. It's a m- 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 mafia, mafia. I was texting a bunch of people. I told them, I told you, friends who are watching the show, 
ask about this show. Ask if we're going to talk about they. I have friends who text me, are you going to talk about this in the show? I told you, MFs, Josh Allen Revenge Tour. I told you. They win 24-20. to Does the Bills Mafia run the AFC now? And, JB, is Tony Romo a psychic? He said this feels like, and I quote, a 24-20 to game in the beginning of the game. So Tony, Ro- shit. Tony Romo is one of the first. I start with I go from reverse. Tony Romo is one of the greatest announcers that the NFL has ever He's seen amazing. since John Madden, right? And we need wow. to cherish this, and we need to we need to appreciate hearing him and listen to him. You know, what I'm saying give the play by play on the Sundays when he does get that chance to what is he on CBS? CBS, yeah. right? Listen, hey, take Hello, advantage. Friends, Jim Nance here. Jim Nance, you know what I'm saying? Take advantage of Tony Romo out there calling these games. Listen and learn because this man is amazing. He knows the game of football. He wasn't a shitty quarterback. He was just on a weird ass team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, Mitch, that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Certain <laughs> things psychics can't even see. They weren't going to dance. Certain certain things psychics can't even see. But with that being said, uh, the Bills, Benny, it's hard to say again. It's week six, right? Yeah, they showing they showing good things against the Kansas City Chiefs, but at the same time, it's like, I mean, it look, it look, what, what's the what's the Bills record? Bills record currently the Mafia. Mitch, what's, is, Bill, what's the Mitch? Mitch, yeah, Mitch, yeah, fucking, Mitch, where are you with the stats? This is your job, Mitch. You should, you should have been it. on there, right? Either way it goes, <laughs> right? We've five and seen, one, the five and one. Five we've one. seen great football. We've seen mediocre football. We've seen enough to win football. Right now, if we look at Kansas City, where there's some mistakes made, yes. So the Bills were just beating their ass, you know what I'm saying? They made some mistakes and the Bills capitalized on it. So I ain't crowning nobody. Word to Denny Green, goddammit. I ain't crowning nobody yet. I ain't no, ain't nobody getting that crown yet. Nobody, not even Philly, they're not getting that crown yet. Week six. Well. You know what, Dr. Bridges? You, you sound like you sound like a man who has learned a lot. In, in in your in your days of playing and the days of observing uh, the game that we call foosball, so we're going to switch up a little bit, a little recap, and because we're about you know a third of the way through season, quarter of the way through season, however you want to look at it, let's talk about some stuff that we've learned. Mm. What we learned twenty twenty two. Here's something that I, uh, we each have our our point. So this is mine. I don't believe JB, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I don't believe that Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers at this point in their life and career care about winning football i think that they they would it would be nice if they won and i think that they want they want to play but the reality is i don't think either of those gentlemen at this point in their careers are particularly engaged with the team and what it takes to actually do what they need to do and know what they need to do to actually make a run at a title so that's what i feel like i've learned in 2022 but what what are your thoughts on brady and rogers so far this season so one Yes, the other one no, and I'm gonna say yes to okay. to, to uh, Aaron Rodgers being in disengaged. Uh, oh, I thought you were gonna say Brady. No, okay. sir, not at all. Uh, so now, and I'll give you my philosophy in a second. Uh, Aaron Rodgers disengaged, right? You can tell by the way he's playing ball. Uh, he's not really feeling these young cats. You know what I'm saying? He's basically like a little brat walking around stomping his feet because he don't have nobody to throw the ball to, right? And then they drop the ball when he throws it to him, so on and so forth. So it's not that he don't care about winning, but the play of the people around him is making him not care about winning. He's like, ah, oh, fuck it. They ain't trying to win. I ain't trying to win either, right? Tom Brady got a lot going on, right? Tom Brady about to lose his wife. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like, there's a divorce going on right now. This man's trying to play a football season. It's not that he don't care about winning. It's just that he can't really focus on it like he wants to. This hey, is Tom Antonio Brady. Antonio Brown's in his pool yeah, house. Yeah, going exactly. On. You know what I'm saying? This is the con- He's sending the videos of him fucking smacking his wife's ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the consummate pro here we're talking about. The ultimate competitor, Tom fucking Brady, right? Well, that's why I think his mind is out, though. That's what I'm saying. I no, feel like it's he, not, it's not that he don't, it's not that he don't care about winning. It's just that right now he can't focus enough to get it done. Now, mind you, they've been playing some weird ball, right? They've been playing some kind of weird ball, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, things ain't been coming together for him. But, again, Benny, it's week six. It's week fucking six, bro. Right? We talking about a lot of different things here. Right? But it's week six. So, Tom Brady, a lot on his mind. Aaron Rodgers, he's kind of like, I'm going to take my ball and go home right now. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't really feeling these young cats, man. Uh, Playoffs, you're talking about playoffs, right? Playoffs? What, you kidding You kidding me? We talking playoffs? Listen, it's rough out here, man. You know what I'm saying? 
All right, well, we'll move on to what you've learned, Dr. Bridges, and that is coach makes the culture. Culture don't make the coach. Who are some of these coaches that have come in and you feel like have really established themselves? I think Nick Sirianni is certainly one of them. And who Sirianni. do you think are some of these coaches that have not established the appropriate culture now, for winning going you, forward? You're going to have to help me with these names. Okay, Sirianni in Philly, check. Correct. Um, the Cat in New York, check. Salah. Right? Robert Salah. No, no, the other, the other New York. Robert Dayball, Dayball. Brian Dayball. check. Yep. Sala, check, right? The Cat in Minnesota, check, yep. right? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, those are like the most notable new coaches, right? Right. Um, yeah, you're right. Bro, when you when you literally, when you come out, uh, no, nah, I mean, Doug Peters, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jack, Jacksonville is pretty much the same team they were last year, to be honest. They ain't, they're not really doing no better than they were. You know, you know they got a lot of, I think they'll be better down the stretch because Doug is a, he's a veteran um, coach. So I think they'll be better down the stretch than the other teams will fare, right? We talked about that again. There's going to be a change in, in, in there's going to be a change in the weather here in a little bit. And everybody's going to be like, well, what happened to such and such team? Jacksonville is going to start to pick it up because of the uh, Dougie P. Uh, but other than that, like, they're out there, right? You know what I'm saying? Miami coach. I mean, yeah, he 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 just got a shitload of talent, right? He's he's smart because he go, he lets his guys go crazy, right? That's why he's smart. You know what I'm saying? And of course, he's not one of those cats. You know what I'm saying? Is going to be like trying to restrict him, but he does he does preach discipline, and and, and you're right, Sean. And I, and, I, and I didn't mention him, but he does preach discipline, especially offensive discipline, because you don't see them making a lot of mistakes. We need to see Mitch how penalized are the, the Miami Dolphins this year, right? I, I guarantee they're probably. You know what I'm saying? In, in the lower half of teams, you know what I'm saying, that have been penalized because this cat does preach discipline, right? They're not a penalized football team offensively or defensively. So that means that these practices are running smooth. That means that he's holding them accountable. That means, you know what I'm saying, that he's demanding that they do their job and be professional. So, yeah, of course, man, these cats, you know what I'm saying, are coming in and they're saying, you know what, this is how we're going to play. They're understanding their teams, right, first and foremost. They're not coming in with the old dude. I was just dude, about to say. Yeah, with yeah. the old dude mentality, like, nah, you're going to do it my way. This is how we going to. Nah, you have to adapt to these young kids. You know what I'm saying? they punks. I'm just being honest. they punks. they sensitive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, you ain't got to kiss their ass, but if you come at them a way that they can understand, they can relate to you, Right, and you can associate, you know, what I'm saying some things that you know with the way that they feel and act. You're gonna have success, and that's what these young coaches are doing. So, shout out to them. Yep, uh, Mitch says they're they're ranked uh, 20, 28th. Mitch, is that is, is it is that good that they're ranked twenty eighth? Is that bad? In, in, yeah, in, twenty. In, so in yeah, so twenty twenty eighth meaning yep. there's thirty two teams, right? So twenty eighth is great. Well, in right? terms of where, in terms of where, like the most of the least. No, number at number least? one will be the most penalized team, right? So right. that's okay. that's gotcha. probably gotcha. gonna be. If I got a guess, you know what? Let's try that. Let's try to guess right now who's the most penalized team. And I'm going to go out and live and say the Ooh. fucking Bears. Wow. Um, I'm, I, don't, I have no clue. I'm going to say the Broncos. I'm just going to mm. say the Broncos. I feel, I feel like they're sloppy enough. But Mitch? to your point real quick before we move on to, to, to a special Mitch segment, um, Nick Sirianni is the best example of this. Where his his, his coaching... One. His coaching matches with his talent, right? Where he took his philosophy and he put together the right pieces where they might not have a, a ton of guys necessarily jumping off the page per se, right. but he's making guys into stars. Rams right. are number one, Denver's yeah. 32. Okay. Understand so. this though. like, So when you get guys to buy into your system and say, hey, this is where I need you to be. This is what I need you to do. You're going to have great success. Point blank period. Yeah. God willing. All right, Mitch. It's been dubbed Mitch's theory of suckativity. Why teams uh -huh. suck in prime time? We're bringing you on the stream. <laughs> goddamn it! You had you really put together some stats, so we're gonna let you plead your case about why this year teams have been so mediocre. To, yeah, when they're playing under under the big lights. Let them hear it, Mitch. So the original on the lines of the feeling of NFL this year and how points are down and how they suck. My theory is the primetime games suck, not the normal games. They're scoring at about an average pace, but the difference is in 2021, teams on primetime, which was one less game than we've had this year, teams in primetime scored 941 points through six weeks. 2022, 729 with an extra game, being that Titans-Bills 731. 
Well, Double header, yeah. I don't know. But also, the big thing is 2021, the point differential was 174 points with 941 scored. Whereas this year, there's 729 points with 189 point differential, which means there's less points scored and they're farther away. The games are more blowouts and somehow not scoring in the first place. Plus, last year, being Cardinals fans that mostly listen to this, I'm sure, the very first game that the Cardinals played, they won 38 to 13 and gave hope to this franchise, where now the Cardinals are two and four. So I don't think the season itself sucks for the NFL. I think the fact that the Cardinals are down and primetime sucks because get Denver off my screen, dang it. Jesus. Get Denver. them all away. That whole de- get all of them away. The most they've scored in four games on primetime is 16 points. That's it. Oof. And they did let's, it twice. Let's ride, let's ride them out of town, goddammit. Yeah, no, I'm done with them. That they're So adding Denver, plus the horrible primetime games, plus Denver, <laughs> plus Cardinals not as good, equals NFL not as much fun this year. Okay. Plus Denver. JB, what, JB, Mitch has been in the lab with, with a white coat. He has a, he has a bunch of yeah, he, he, he's, bunch he's, of had, he, he's and, got a smock on, you know what I'm saying? And literally, you know what I'm saying? He's putting, you know what I'm saying, all these. Bunts these, and beakers and he's doing of, it. Yeah, I, need you know that, saying? I need the glasses from that Miami coach that we right. were just talking Yeah, about. you need those glasses, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? From the kicker <laughs> we just signed. That's what you need those. You know, those, you oh, those, yeah. Those, yeah those. Oh, I need goggles. That's yeah. what I need. I need those goggles. Yeah, you need your goggles, right? So. I agree, you know what I'm saying? I like, like, look, it's hard to disagree with Mitch, you know what I'm saying? I do it sometimes just to fuck with him, but like, it's hard to disagree with Mitch, you know what I'm saying? Because Mitch does his homework. I'm gonna agree wholeheartedly, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, they definitely. So, the thing about it is that they drunk the Kool Aid, right? The NFL drunk the Kool Aid. Russ side with the Broncos, they were like, put this motherfucker on every Thursday night game. We got a way to get this Thursday night games popping. We got a way to get our money back from Prime. We got a way to do all of this shit. It's Russ. And Russ ain't cooking, right? Mm-hmm. Russ out here, you know what I'm saying, burning the whole kitchen now, right? <laughs> it's just bad, man. That's right. It's bad. Well, and listen, you can't blame them. I mean, what what would you expect? I mean, they want they want to put their stars on TV, and they're they're just not getting the job done. But I, I'm Mitch. We're with you. Take the Broncos off our goddamn screen. Please. Otherwise, we're gonna fucking binge Netflix or some shit. Cause goddamn NFL, keep our eyes, keep our viewership. We gonna boycott man. Prime. Yep. And I ain't talking Coach Prime. We gonna <laughs> boycott Prime. Mm-mm-mm. All <laughs> right. So Mitch will be back on in a second. That was some Week Six recap. Uh, before we get into some Week Seven picks and some savage reactions. Of course, you got to pay a couple bills. Again, tap in with our guys, Valley Boy Association Clothing. Go to valleyboyassociation.com and use code PODCAST22 for 20% off your order at checkout. And, of course, our guy, it's timdebuy.com. Get your new or pre-owned vehicle. Text review, 515-444-7003, or message him at it's Tim to Buy on Instagram, and he will get you into the car of your dreams. BG Faithful. Get your Burger all day unisex shirt made to order 100% combined cotton. So comfortable. Use code BG at checkout for 10% off your order. That's JB and Benny the review.com slash store. Listen, man, if you're fucking with the content, please follow us at JB and Benny below on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're going to see clips from the episodes, um, exclusive thoughts from JB and myself. You, you saw him talking about Russ recently, the BG, Draymond Green. That one's doing numbers online. We love it. We appreciate all the engagement, all that stuff. And listen, we are live streaming 730, 745 Pacific time and 1030, 1045 Eastern time Wednesdays, baby. All right. Now, before we get into some week seven picks, we got to see how we did after six weeks of picks, baby. And with a drum roll, please. Yeah. Dr. Bridges is at 47, 45, and one, but yours truly is at 53, 39, and one. Let's go through them. Uh, damn. We, both, we both picked the Bears to win at home. They did not. We both picked the Vikings, got that one right. We both uh, picked the Ravens. They lost to the G Men. The Patriots beat the Browns. We both got the Bungles. The Falcons got it done against the Niners. The Jets, I have my, my pick of the week. The Jets got it done. Steelers beat the Bucks. Colts beat the Jags, which I got right. We both picked the BG. They lost in Seattle, as we just talked about. Both picked the Rams. I had the Bills. JB had the Eagles correctly, and we both had the Chargers and my kitties, Mitch's Titans, the Raiders, and the Texans both had 
or all, I should say, had buys. So it's going down. So without further ado, let's get into the shit right now with some motherfucking week seven savage fix. And wouldn't you know it, we are starting with the BG hosting that big gumbo bull, baby. And the line is a point and a half for the BG. Um, if they go have Cliff pass the clipboard, we're going to see a, no, a more uh, offensive offense. I know it sounds weird. A uh, more aggressive offense, a more attacking offense. If we attack. It ain't many teams that can beat us because of the weapons that we got. We will beat the Saints because their secondary is eh, kind of spotty, right? The D-line is their strength, to be honest. And, of course, their quarterback situation is like whatever. What I hope don't happen is Taysom Hill fucking run for fucking 335 <laughs> yards on our ass. And I'm a boy looking. I might fucking blow that shit up. No Thomas, we in that ass. You know what I'm saying? For Paul. Right. Yeah, Hollywood Brown, four to six weeks, looks like. Uh, Hudson is out as well, but they are We did pretty hot. good, though. So we, yep. we did pretty good, though, you know what I'm saying, with Hudson out, you know what I'm saying, the kid uh, that's up for him, he did pretty good, you know what I'm saying. So you can you can always make up for that offensive line injury, you know what I'm saying, by doing different things to help the offensive line so the D-line can't just pin their ears back, right? So, Jameis is back. Uh, so I'm taking, so, the, I'm, I'm taking the BG as well. I do not expect the uh, Mormon Swiss Army Knife to be running around on the BG because <laughs> the one thing you can say that I think they are going to be able to handle themselves on is, is making plays when they need to on defense. It's all about what they're going to do to integrate Robbie Anderson and get D-Hop back to speak is now they have the deep threat. Kyler, right. if you want to be a gunslinger, then damn it, let them motherfucking bullets fly, baby, because clearly you can't make any read short. So throw something over the top where you guys can get it. Yes, coaching. Rounds out. Coaching, 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 coaching. What a position right? to be in, God damn it. Teach this motherfucker to throw the ball short. Like, don't yes. let him do that shit in practice where you want to throw the ball down the field 130 times a game. Fuck. Sometimes you got to take what the defense gives you. Right. Right. But now what I'm saying is now he now there's more options. There's more guys that can get open for him. So just yes. all I'm saying yes. is make the right reads, Kyler. That's it. And let the, the fucking right ball reads. go, you asshole. <laughs> 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 all right, so we're both taking the BG. All right. It's divorce court Tom and his Buccaneers going to JB's former employer to keep pounding Panthers. And the line is ten for the Panthers on the road. Tampa Bay. Yeah. Mitch, you're even gonna pull up injuries for this. The the uh, the Carolina's Carolina is is now officially getting ready to 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 gun for that number one pick. That's what they're doing. They got old Steve Wilkes at the helm. They got Robbie out of there. Injuries. Sam Bradford's on the IR. Or Sam Bradford. Sam Darnold's on the IR. Um, yeah, it's not gonna matter. TB TB's coming out. They're coming out swinging. Apparently, JB the O line appreciated his fiery pep talk, and I expect them to push the. Uh, Panthers defensive front around a little bit. So we're both Good. taking the Bucks. Good. All right. It's the boom, 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 go, pack, go. Um, heading to the Washington Commanders, and the line is five for the Packers on the road. I'll take the Packers versus the Commanders. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll take them, right? Yeah, I think I think it's it is a tricky matchup. I'm gonna go ahead and take Packers just for the uncertainty of what you're gonna actually get from Carson Wentz, even if he's you know gonna play. Uh, you're right, so I'm trying to trade, trade the fucking best player, um, but um, Wentz might be out as Mitch is saying. Um, yeah, I mean that's good for them, right? It might actually <laughs> might be better. So uh, I'm, right. I'm taking I'm taking the Packers as well. All right, a matchup that's near and dear. To Mitch's heart, it's the Chad Cars Colts against the Titan Up Titans, and the line is two and a half for Mitch's Titans at home. Mm. Come off well, the uh, being at home, man, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 have, I have faith in Vogel, all right? Um, I, I think that Tennessee is going to put together a great defensive game plan to make Matty Ice turn the ball over a couple times. I think Tennessee gets to win. I think King, King Henry wakes up this week, too. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think he runs for big yards. All right, and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We are here. Yeah, I'm taking the Titans as well, uh, as Mitch said as well. Uh, they're coming off the bye week. Sounds like, you know, some questionable, some banged up, and, but nobody significant out. And listen, the Colts, are, the Colts are about as bipolar as you can get of a team. You do not know what you're going to get from the Colts week to week. Um, 200, two 100-yard games in a row, Mitch says. Um, he, he is awake. King Henry is awake. Um, so I'm taking, you know, the Titans as well, and I, and I, I like them clearing that line also. All right, it's the Falcons, the Dirty Birds. Hmm. They uh, they snuck in a solid win last week against a banged up Niners team. They're headed to the Big Chili Bowl against the Bungles, and the line is six four. Cincy at home. 
Uh, I wouldn't take the line, but I will take the Bengals, right? We'll take the Bengals just because they're at home. Yep, no no major injuries. It looks like just some questionables. Uh, I'm taking the Bengals as well. Uh, potential letdown game, but I do think they will have enough firepower uh, to get past the old Falcons, so I'm taking them as well. All right. It's a... Quote the Raven nevermore, and the line is six and a half for Will's Ravens. At I don't know what the hell the Ravens got going on and why uh, they're losing these games like they're losing. But I got Joe faith. Ward, David Clowney out for the Browns. I got faith, right? Dom's out for the Ravens. I got faith in the Ravens, right? At home, especially. When you're in B-more, Benny, you got to be more careful. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take the Ravens. Taking the Ravens, too. I mean... The Browns are just at the point now where they're they're not they're not going to be able to get shit right until Deshaun Watson comes back. They're just not like they, it's just, that's just where where it's at. Kevin Szpanski has been making some some questionable decisions in some of these games also, and like Mitch was saying, they're they're banged up on defense and they have to have that defense stout to hold it down because if if they can't get anything going with the running game with Chubb and they're depending on fucking Jacoby Brissett to save them. That is not a recipe for winning football. So I'm taking the Ravens as well. All right, as the G men and down to Duval, and the line is three for the Jaguars. Hmm. You know, what the hell going on, Vegas? See, what do you know, Vegas? See, here's the thing. What did we just talk about? Giants? What did we just talk about earlier, right? There's going to be a slice of humble pie served to these teams that are winning oh, right now. Oh yeah. And that slice of humble pie is coming. From a nice bakery in Duval. Because oh, no. <laughs> I'm taking the Jacksonville Jaguars to win. All right. I like what I'm saying from the G Man. I don't care that Kenny Galladay's out because once Kenny Galladay decided not to re sign with the Lions, he forgot how to play football. And they're running. And the thing is, will the Jaguars put the clamps on Saquon Barkley? I don't think they will. I do think the Giants come up and is coming for them. I just don't think it's this week. I actually might even bet on this game. I, I might even feel oh, a little spicy. So oh. I'm taking the GE, man. All right, Dr. Bridges. Speaking of, of my of my team, ugh, off of a much needed buy. Good God almighty. It's the fucking kitties going into <laughs> How about them cowgirls? I mean, them cowboys. And the line is seven for the Cowboys at home. And Mitch, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Dak is going to play in this one. So a couple of intangibles here, right? Um, if Dallas would have won last week, I would pick the Lions, right? But they got their ass served up on a platter, right? So that means they're going to go and literally fine tooth comb everything. Dallas is a better football team than Detroit, right? Uh, if they play well, even with Dak at the helm, which I don't, you know, say like he, I mean, you know, uh, Cooper Rush got that big slice of humble pie last week, right? Because he was riding high, right? He had to eat that motherfucking take a shit. Now, are the Dallas Cowboys going to cater to Dak and do the same thing that they were doing with Cooper Rush offensively for Dak, who's a better quarterback, because dropping Dak back 25 times a game is what got his ass killed, right? Pretty much. So are they going to do that? Are they going to are they going to listen and say, man, okay, you know, we did it again with Cooper Rush. If we do it with Dak, it'll be way better, right? Are they going to do that? I'm going on talent. I'm going on them being at Dallas. I'm going on the fact that you guys got some soul searching to do, right? I'm going to roll Dallas. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, there, there is a pathway for the Kitties to win this game, but the biggest thing is, you know, they, with the injuries and the scheme and, and, the, and the issues with talent, the reality is teams have the ability to slice and dice and just march down the field, right? And the Kitties aren't doing any, and themselves any favors in the red zone either. Now, they're going to have Swift back. They're going to be pretty for the most part, pretty healthy on the offense. And the offense is not what I'm worried about. So the only pathway for the kiddies to go down to the to Dallas, to Jerry World, and steal one is if they're able to to match point for point, blow for blow, scope for scope on offense. Because the damn sure is not going to happen on defense. There's, no, there's nobody that they got for him other than my guy, Rodrigo. And mm. if 800 can finally get loose, that's really going to make a difference. Now, Dak, with his, his sometimes lack of mobility and the nagging injury, will they be able to get to him? I don't know, but that's the only pathway that they're going to have to actually get so the deal. So the thing you said, you hit the nail on the head, though. Lack of mobility, he needs to run the fucking ball more. Right? He needs to get out and just run and get them the two or three yards for a first time to slide and get out. Kind of like this little motherfucker. 
Yeah. 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 I need Super Mario to get that star. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God! Well, listen, Mitch has been circling this one. This is his this week's Mitch's money making pick of the week. He's taking the spread. The Lions plus seven against the BG. So that means they got to be within that window or mm-hmm. win the game for you. Yeah. Yes, you were viewers to make some coin. Uh, last week's That's money weird. pick of the week was the Saints plus one and a half against the Bengals. Eh, that one didn't work out. But I see why you bet that one because that one actually had the potential Mitch. until late. Mitch, I'm not taking your betting advice. I'm just just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, you know, I'm just not. not. All right. It's a Texas at the. (coughs) Raiders. Who desperately need a win. (laughs) And the the Lions, a touchdown for the Razor home. Mitch says he's one and one with his picks. That's correct. Both teams off of a bye. Both of these teams are off of a bye. Uh, Vegas, more talent. I got Vegas. Yeah, I'm going with Vegas too. You know, Texans when they when they when they really get up for a game can steal one, but the Raiders are in a crucial point of the season where they need to get the dub, and they damn sure can't fall to the Texans. Especially like you said, like what you said about the Cowboys, where they're able when they're coming off the season or some of these recent games they had, they're going to examine things a little bit more closely than they if they were just getting straight dubs. You know that 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 humble pie isn't coming for them because they've already been humbled this far they're coming off a bye week they're going to be ready they're going to be at home and i'm taking them as well all right speaking of humble pie jb like you said in our first segment is the jets 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 going to mile high with let's ride and the line is three for the broncos at home this is going to be the game where new york gets that ass whooped you know what i'm saying um i just feel like denver's gonna finally wake up and say you know what man Let's just do things that are catering to this kid that we just gave all this money to. This grown man, I say, ain't a kid no more. Let's do the things catering to him. Let's let him loose, turn him loose, and see what he does. And Russ go fucking do his thing. Like, when he's comfortable, he's a nasty motherfucker still to this day. There's no way he fell off like that. You just got to put him in position to win. I'm taking the Broncos, especially at home. I don't know if the Broncos are quite learned yet. I'm taking the Jets just sim- simply for for their defense. Now, you know, hey, maybe Mitch's theory is correct. Well, we remove the Broncos from prime time. Maybe they're actually going to play better. So they might. that one that won't surprise me. But I want to take the Jets, especially because I, I I like that line. Um, all right, it's the Squawks. Squawks. <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> neighbors oh, pounding oh. the neighbors pounding the ceiling. Uh, it's the Squawks going against the L.A., San Diego, San Antonio, Barstow, fucking Bakersfield, Chargers, Super Chargers. And the line is seven for the Chargers at home. This feels like a jank game, JB. It does feel like a jank game, but Chargers at home. All right, just because they beat us last week, I feel like the Chargers really took a close look and they like, you know what? We can't let these motherfuckers win, all right? Uh, yeah. Chargers at home. No major injuries, as Mitch points out. We just got a few games left, and yes, I am taking the charge as well. I know the kicker's banged up, but damn it, he went in there and got the job done on a bum hamstring. So more firepower. I know they're missing Joey Bosa, but oh, hey, they're playing, uh, they're playing well. Yeah, Weezy. <laughs> All right. It's the Chiefs Kingdom head of the Ooh, Niner guy. All right. It's the, the Chiefs minus three on the road, Dr. Bridges. Mm. San Francisco plays very well at home, right? They're um, banged up, I, if I if but, so. But the Kansas City Chiefs, you know what I'm saying, again, just took the L. Andy Reid, yes. Eric Enemy, you know what I'm saying, Spag Nasty, Kansas City Chiefs. One thing the Chiefs do not do, and, and, and certainly do not do often, is drop two in a row. The Niners are banged up. It's going to be too much firepower. Uh, I am taking the Chiefs as well. All right, Sunday night football. It's the Steelers, the kind of getting hot Steelers, JB, going down to the old Bermuda Triangle to face Miami, and the line is a touchdown for Miami. Ooh, I like I like I like this one. Mitch, this should have been your bet, honestly. This two, two is back. back. Two is two, back. Two, 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 two need to back his ass to fuck up. Uh, so, but if CT, he's fucking Steelers on the way to the AO, right to the three hundred five. He picking his out. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Steelers, man. Mike Tomlin. Right, he just you know he, you know he's gonna turn it around. You know he's gonna get it turned around, right? And then the fact that if Tua starts and they're gonna send more motherfuckers to Tua than the IRS when you delinquent your taxes, <laughs> we got picked up. 
Yeah, man, I'm taking the, I'm taking the Steelers as well. Um, just because two is back, I don't think it's I don't think it's going to be like a light switch. And uh, I think the Steelers are going to play more balanced ball and control the clock uh, to win the game. America, we know, all need to stay up for two before this game starts. I'm just being yeah, honest. For real, like if 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 if, if, if two even goes like this for one second, if Tua sneezes, take him out of the game. Like, eh, yeah, no, like no. Real. Get him out there. By the way, he he said he uh, I believe he I believe he came out and said that he had actually like blacked out or passed out from the hit briefly. The original one before the before the the game where they actually had to, like take him out for real. So there you go. We're both taking the uh, Steelers. And finally, it's a Monday Night Football talking about under the lights. Good God Almighty! It's the Bears against the Pats, dude. And the line is seven and a half for the Pats at home. Yeah, I'm going to roll with the Pats, man. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about Bill Belichick versus whoever the fuck the Bears co- coach is. And then, you know what I'm saying, uh, the fact that they just can't get it together. They don't know what the fuck they want to be. It's just a horrible, horrible, game, horrible, 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 horrible football team with the Bears right now. Sorry, Spice. I mean, I get it in your boys, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever. They bad. Real bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm taking the Pats, too, whether it's Bailey Zappi or Mac Jones. Um, Belichick is going Belichick. And uh, mine F them all, all which way possible. And I like the Patriots, and I think I might like the line, too. Uh, we'll see. Probably will be Jones, as Mitch said. Uh, by weeks, the B- 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 the Rams, the uh, Eagles, or the uh, Vikings, and the E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles. We'll see who's right, who's wrong, who is both right, and who is both wrong. And before we get on up out of here, Dr. Bridges, we promised it. We teased it. And damn it, now it's time we have to react to some new hey, music for our guy, Perks the amenity. The song is called Dope. It is on available now for streaming, Spotify, all that stuff. I have not heard this song. I'm not sure if JB has heard the song, but he's our guy. Guys in the DM. And listen, if you want to submit your new music for a live Savage reaction, you know what to do. Reach out to us, JB and Benny Review at gmail.com. So without further ado, let's get into the song. I'm going to turn up the volume so we can all hear it. And here we go. The song is called Dope by guy Perks the Amenity. Wow, 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 wow. Been a long time coming. Huh? Sample, baby. Hey, bitch, I'm big parky and I'm dope with this affair now. If you want some, just know that I got it out. If the feds ask you, then you do not know it out. Ain't no excuses, just know that I heard it out. Give them my encore, leave with the curtain call. I played the middle, so I hope that you run the ball. Shoot up the egg if you know I'ma knock him off. Break his ass off like I'm yelling out, Mazel Tov. Big purchase shooter like him, Nicky, a camera off. Flesh him with them red beams, I'm coming like Kevin off. Run his ass down, so you know I got stamina. With the say rag, bitch, you know I'm the damager. Bitch, I'm the same, even though I'm off camera. Sticks and them stones like we straight out the camera lot. Damn boys will call us, so you know that they capitalize. Raise your whole city, boy. You know how I vandalize Handle my Send a chill down your spot More you done like Columbine You can never hold the line Up at your funeral Sign my name a butterline You can never play with mine Oh, I'ma play the night Had a bitch on Dateline Know the cake was damn fine Got all the intel I heard it through the grapevine With them desert demons Know I'm coming with them canines Square box Chevy Strapped up with some k 5 Came with an M5 Now I need an M9 Sick of this some K2 Oh, you think you played who? Knock him out like Babe Ruth, leave my team like Frey Boo Bitch, I'm the guy, even though I don't watch cable Perks really done it, y'all boys are just some fables Better hold your horses, you won't end up in a stable Refuse to be a victim or put up as a label I really put that work in and now I turn the tables I'm living great, I'm living life, I'm living proof I know I'm the coldest when I step up in the booth I elevate, I'm about to raise it to the roof Said I'm the Yeti with gorillas out the zoo, I- Good stuff okay. right there. So, That's dope by Perks the Amenity. I got to hear that song, you know what I'm saying? Again, he helped me out, you know what I'm saying, at the T-Mobile store. Uh, I'm not going to disclose his location, you know what I'm saying, but it was close to my workplace, uh, if you know where I work. But wonderful young man, you know what I'm saying? He's passionate about what he does. Uh, he played a lot of music for me, and it was all good, right? You know what I'm saying? I told him, I said, if you put together an EP or like a small project and I had it planned, I could let that shit play and just let it play. As you heard, you know what I'm saying? He's polished. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? This is one of, not, not I ain't going to say, we. this is one of his lesser songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, dope, this song was cool, but, and the sample was amazing. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? He's made those connections and, and, and got those production, you know what I'm saying, people in his in his back pocket, you know what I'm saying, where they, they're doing good things for him. But this kid's from Buffalo, New York. 
right? Uh, he's mm, he's heavily okay. influenced. He's heavily influenced by, of course, the Wu Tangs. You know what I'm saying? And, and and all of those New York rappers. You know what I'm saying? And hear the Griselda, yeah, that kind of Griselda yeah, vibe. I, I yep. say his, his, them, them, he's been following them cats for a long time. Uh, he told me, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, he's from literally from Buffalo, right? You know what I'm saying? So this cat, he can go. Like, and I've heard, I probably heard the whole time I was in there, probably about 30 minutes or so waiting on my phone to switch over because I got a new phone in there. I probably heard about nine to 10 songs in this food. He was killing everyone he hit. So shout out to this young man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Perks, the amenity young man, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you so much, you know what I'm saying, for helping me out on my phone. But we appreciate your Savage, uh, you know what I'm saying, your, 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 your feed for Savage Reaction. It's good stuff, man. You know, since so keep keep doing your thing, like I told you that day, keep writing, keep making connections, keep getting good production, keep finding things that are right for you. You know, what I'm saying, and continue to put that hot, you know, what I'm saying, hot hot lyric on on track. Yeah, man. I let you know. Good beat selection. Big fan of the sample. Um, definitely has a good. He has a really good mic presence. Like he has he has a mm -hmm. great voice yes. for for that style that he's doing. Definitely yep. like the bars. Probably could have, and, and maybe there's just like a, a stylistic choice. Definitely like to definitely like to hear like the boom pow punch lines. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. really getting them. But I like that overall. Right. Flow was good. I thought it, I thought it was. I thought and he, it was and he has good. that. That's what I said. Like right. this, this. I'm very curious to hear. I am very yeah. curious to hear uh, yeah. more. Perks, we appreciate you. Thank you for submitting. Right, music. Up, if, you, if you submit more, we will, we will certainly react to it. Oh, for sure. Sean, we appreciate you tapping in as Bye, well. I'm honest soon, buddy. So if you want, if you want to check out, if you want to check out, dope, which is a dope song. Uh, again, you can find it on Spotify, wherever you listen to music, make sure to add that to your playlist and we will be having more of his music to react to, especially when he has some new releases to drop. We'll get it here for some savage reactions, but that's it folks. It's been a hell of a show. JB, your final thoughts on a little bit of, we need us, my guy. What's go the vote. deal? Go vote, go vote, go vote, go vote, go vote, go vote, go vote. Wherever you are. It's lower level elections right now. You know, San Francisco City Councils and all this other shit going on. Go fucking vote, all right? These are the people that make a difference. These are the people that actually fight for you. Go vote, all right? Other than that, man, treat your brother like you would have them treat you. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, treat your neighbor like you would have them treat your child, right? Do that, right? Of course, you know what I'm saying? That's JB's. We need us, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, man. Uh, at JB and Bitter Blue, all social media platforms, you know what I'm saying? And TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Go to YouTube, like, subscribe, five star on iTunes, all that good shit. The whole you know thing, what I'm saying? Man. That's right, Miss Lower Level Effect, us, the people, you know what I'm saying? Out here in the desert, you know what I'm saying? We live stream casualsports.com. That's sports with a Z. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ed Earl, you know what I'm saying? Javon, all the homies, you know what I'm saying? And of course, Money Making Mitch, you know what I'm saying, who joins us to help us out a little bit here on our show. You know what I'm saying? You want to fuck with us for real? You want to hear these melodious voices? Patreon.com slash JB and Benny Blue. One dollar, all right? One dollar. Me thanks for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? One damn dollar. You can still hear this beautiful, beautiful content via voice, right? The vocal content, all right? Uh, check me out on Tuesday nights, man. The Burning Bridges podcast, uh, courtesy of the AAT Sports underscore on Twitter and the All About the Birds court the, at AAT Birds. Uh, AAT Sports Media Network on YouTube. Fuck with us, subscribe. You'll be able to see all my sister podcasts on that network, you know what I'm saying? All of my past episodes, right? Uh, sponsorship Dang. interviews, new music, just like we just heard from our guy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? JB and Benny Blue at gmail.com. Get with us. You see it's real. You know what I'm saying? We've done this before. We do it all the time. Let us know. Let us hear, man. You know what I'm saying? We got you. You got some things you want to talk about. Shoot it to us, man. We'll put hit it with hit put go. We'll talk about it in our production meeting. Run it by Mitch. Run about Benny, run about myself, see if we can get it in there. Yes, indeed. Well, reviewers, we appreciate you. Episode 234 of The Review. We'll be back, man. We, we're in the thick of the season, baby, so you know we got plenty of shit to talk about. But until then, stay safe, love one another, watch some foosball, and damn it, eat, drink, and be merry, God damn it, That's right. We love you. We appreciate everybody tapping in. Drop your comments and questions. Yes, sir. Until next week, we are out. Peace. Yeah, baby. <laughs>